now you've met with them, you've spoken around all of this. I hear there's a seven-day ultimatum. Yeah. So tell us more about that. Too. We arrived in seven-day ultimatum to give them some kind of... Uh, Are they looking at the issues? Are they issues, saying they yeah. want to... No, what really happened last week on Friday, uh, some of the ESCO meet with uh, both in their office when they, you know, there's a protest there and they are not feel comfortable. They have to force to, you know, pick them Me in too. and talk to them. So... They try to manage to bamboos many things that day by saying they increase the uh, price or what have you, so that just to let people move out of their office. But when we check the one they said they increased, it, it does not account for anything. It does not account for anything. We are in the um, um, Uber office too, on, on, at Maryland, and they, they, they run away that day. We couldn't have any of their staff, uh, you know, talk to. And uh, we have already told them that, look, Get in touch with the Minister of Labor before this seven days ultimatum. Okay. So that the Minister of Labor can be a referee and look into all these things and they will have a collective bargaining. If really you are doing a genuine business, it's not about you come and pay us salary, is what we are talking about. It's about we want to know what and what that is meant for us in this uh, our business. And that is why you see them running up and down and they are not listening to us. But we have a solution. We have three options. Mm -hmm. And we have not activated any. Wow. We have not. And I was telling them on Friday that, look, if you refuse to do the needful, I cannot say, you know, most of our guys is work and eat. Yeah. And imagine somebody that, you know, graduates and, you know, the economy, I know it will be better one day and you cannot join the armed robber or join the bad gang. He called the car. You cannot say that kind of person to stay home for long. Yeah. How do we manage How to, we feed manage the to feed the yeah. At the same time, the fuel is not okay. Because I wanted to ask you that, that in this era of subsidy, a litre, 490, 500 in some cases, have your rates now, you know, are they at par with this new? No, 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 no. It's not commensurate with the reality on grants concerned to fuel subsidy. You have to mention about first subsidy alone. Mm -hmm. You don't talk about the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That part, we are yeah, and, yeah, and the person will feed his family, feed himself. That means you have to get salary on what he's doing. If I thought it's your car, you have to keep money so that if that car gets spoiled or whatever, you can replace it. Go and check before when we want to do, which is common in any car, whether it's spoiled or not, when you want to do servicing. Thank God some of us, will, you know, we used 10,000 before. Now it's 20,000. Depends on even your engine. Yeah. I'm talking about four plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If so, you have a bigger engine, you, you have a bigger, you, you, one and a half engine. Exactly. So now, tell me how people will survive. At the same time, people need to work because we have three types of people working on this system. Number one, the people that people like you buy car for. Oh yeah, come and take this and that <laughs> and make you, money and pay me so that at least I will have something with my investment. That is number one. Number two, people that approach the bank. Maybe my crew, maybe finance bank, yeah. maybe normal yeah, bank, get money and to get buy. money and buy. That's the HP. And then you have people that they don't have this, they don't have that. What they bank on is their friend that, look, leave me your car, let me your car, let me work for three days. Okay. And then because they don't have that capability to be in two categories that I first mentioned. Yeah. And, okay, I work for two days, you work for three days to feed your family, depending to the time we sort some things out. Now, the problem is this. The fuel... And the price mechanism is not fit for. How do we meet in the middle? What we resort on into is they should confide many of their customers to the offline. Everybody may be hear this. If you think for you to increase the price to reality on grant is your problem, when you lose the revenue, it will be the same thing. I know all Nigeria citizens, our customer. They really understand what I'm talking here today. That if any of our guys explain things for them, some many will need it because some of them too have the car in so the they platform. Understand what they understand what. Well, it, so I, I think I get I get that point. So you're going to complete that, but I just something happened to me, and I just want to maybe it's something like that. We got to the uh, to a park, and we wanted to take uh, Uber to the airport, 
and uh, we saw a price, and he came in, and we're like, let's go. He said, no, he said, that's not the price mm -hmm. to the airport. Yeah. I said, wow, and he said it was like almost double of the price. I said, why? He said, he said it's offline, they don't, so I think that is what you're trying to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but that's optional you have now. You know, the urgency of a problem demanded urgency of the solution. solution. That is what we can do. We can't fight them more than what we have done. Mm. But we will use our number six, and they are dealing with intelli intelligent people. True. We are very, very competent. And nobody asks of the job you are doing today, but people ask of the money you are taking home. <laughs> Forget about white collar That's job, true. green collar That's job. True. That's why we see money. many people move to the America, the worst toilet. Because of what? They are not talking about that toilet, they are talking about the dough. The dollars. So these are the things that we are talking to tell our member that it's not about the job you are doing today, it's about the money that comes from that job. And that is the reason why the government needs to involve. Because that industry about at least <laughs> many youths in this country. So they need to look at it in a way that this industry will be favorable for every one of us. So our member doesn't have any option now. Rather than negotiate, let me use the man so that you won't look like. <laughs> Rather than negotiate. negotiate. Yes. <laughs> so they that they can and move on. If you see the letter I use rule out, that is why you see, even those are company, they release one one newspaper consent to that letter. I said, now that we are in the middle of everything, we cannot say you stay in a home, and we cannot say you should not work. True. Work with this True. wisdom. True. I said, I put in that letter that work with your wisdom, work with your head, and know what to do. I won't talk more than that. <laughs> Interesting stuff. I must say you've been able to articulate your point so very clearly, but what will be your message to government directly now to intervene on this issue? and also to members of your association. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that government deeming fit to register our junior. Yes. And I, I pray that it's not a mistake. It's a plus to youth of this country. And they will pray government for that. And they will thank them for that. But it's not finished there. They need to do the other things in which they will bring all this our company to the table and set the agenda for them. For, uh, for, 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 for problem on ground now. That's short-term solution. The long-term solution is very simple. All our senator, as of rep, everybody should put it into the agenda now that we need to have a regulation in, that we, in this industry. Because this industry has bought the graduates. And nobody is looking for a white-collar job. But the one we have, they should try and make sure that they provide a law that will protect everybody. We do not say they should do a law that will protect only us. Even the rider. The rider, let the rider come to the, to the chamber and come and explain the experience. Let the driver come. Let the half company come. From there, but I want to beg them for one thing. They should make sure that they contact the people that really understand how our industry works. Because you cannot give what you don't have. If you don't want to bring a law, we bring a law with the people that understand the system. They should not do a mistake of anybody just go there and bring out the law. Let them invite the academicians, the unionists, the businessmen, the everybody that are particular to that uh, industry to come and contribute. At the end of the day, I know that we come up with what will benefit at this country. It happened in the US and, and day before yesterday. I cannot fight for minimum wages in Nigeria. I can only fight for the good pay. Because minimum wages is not minimum wages in Nigeria. It doesn't take anybody home. And I still want to beg government that they put us in mind. Because if they are negotiating for the increment, it cannot come to our industry. We are work and heat. We are informal sectors. So when they are talking about CNG, talking about empowerment or all those stuff, they should remember us and uh, support us on that area. For my member, please and please, let us operate maturely and use our wisdom to deal with our customer. At the same time, you know what to do. And we pray that, ask them free day, every day. And uh, we pray that our customer that pay us, may God bless their pockets and continue to patronize us. It's a good word there, Mr. Ayo Ade Ibrahim. I see that energy, that labor energy there ready. Thank you so much. He is the General Secretary of the Amalgamated Union of App-Based Transport Workers of Nigeria speaking there around issues around the e services. It's very important because 
people move daily, not just Lagos, across the country. Uh, so there are issues really need to be looked at. Thank you so much. We'll get an update from you yeah. uh, as, as events unfold. Yeah, Do I have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Oh.